to everyone today i'm going to speak on the topic benign breast diseases to start with let's see the criteria for benign lesions a lesion which has smooth well circumscribed margin and which is hyperechoic isoechoic and mildly hypoechoic with thin echogenic capsule with an ellipsoidal shape where the maximum diameter is in the transverse plane three or fewer gentle lobulations and obviously absence of any malignant findings the lesion which fits into any of these categories has features of any any other, all these any or all these features fits into a benign lesion let's see one uh, breast benign breast lesions one by one to start with a simple cyst which is the most common results uh, due to the blockage of terminal acini it's differentiated into a microcyst and a macrocyst micro is less than 3 mm macrocyst is anything more than 3 mm but usually ranging from 1 to 6 cm cutoff criteria for cutoff of the micro and macrocyst is 3 mm less than and more than on as a sound the lesion appears as a well defined anechoic lesion with the acoustic enhancement and clear internal echo texture as we see in these lesions this patient presented with a pain in the lateral quadrant of the right breast so on mammogram we see a lesion isodense to the fib adjacent fibroglandular tissue which is which has a partially obscured margin and partially well circumscribed circumscribed margin so on uh, this lesion on ultrasound demonstrated the features of an cyst that the clear cut well defined margin well defined lesion with anechoic contents there were other cysts which were present in the lesion and this is a main corresponding to the palpable lesion which the patient presented with and the most important thing is if a cyst is noted in a postmenopausal woman it should not increase in size if it increases it needs further investigation and complex cyst as we know is a cyst with internal contents which could be related to either hemorrhage or proteinaceous material so which demonstrates clear cut internal echoes or septations and sometimes solid component also so the management of cyst depends upon the internal echo texture if the cyst is simple it does not need any further investigation or intervention and if the cyst is complex on aspiration if the contents turn out to be blood cytopathology is required and if it is it turns out to be a fluid or a straw color fluid then there's no need for cytopathology then the next most common lesion uh, in the lactating woman is the galactosil galactosil presents in various forms and the most common ones are a cyst with a well defined cyst with homogeneous internal echoes or sometimes with fat fluid level which changes with position so these galactosis are basically formed due to the cystic dilatation of the lactiferous ducts and they contain milk and this form of galactosil is called as cystic mass with fat fluid level and sometimes it can present as a solid hypoechoic mass with ill defined margins with without or with minimal color flow which can misguide us to the to think in terms of malignancy but the